Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Play My Colony. So something I noticed earlier uh, today, and I don't know if I noticed on the last episode I did or not, but I noticed that ores randomly pop on the screen, or at least I think they do over time. Uh, so I was always worried if resources would over time just vanish, that's it, it's gone, right? Uh, but I don't think that's actually the case, which is kind of interesting. So they do come back over time, and that's that's a really good thing, to be honest. Uh, so I'm really excited by that. Uh, oop, did I delete a bunch of that accidentally? Let's fix that up. So my colony is doing really well. I got tired of not making enough credits, so we have 180k now, and you can see we have a crap ton of the, the mints here, uh, if we can click one. I found they were the best uh, method of making money, honestly. So uh, 28 uh, a minute here, uh, two gold. It doesn't use much gold at all. You know, we have almost 300k gold. Uh, we have almost, uh, well, almost a million steel. Uh, 71k charcoal. The capped wood all the time these days. Uh, what is our? Hmm. What's our aura? I can't even find that. 3.2 million, so... <laughs> we're, overall, we could say we're doing pretty damn good. Uh, statistics. Uh, here's our statistics. So, uh, we probably should go here. Population. It's capped out for a while, of course. And uh, government's doing good. We're at 95, so we've gotten even a bit better, I think. Uh, actually, yeah, you can tell we got slightly higher. But either way, we're doing really good. Oh, yeah, my Civic's 21k. Now, remember, later on, we can leave if we want later on, if that's something we want, at 250k or something crazy. So uh, it's a bit away yet for that, but uh, it's something we can keep in mind, of course, as well. What about clay deposits? I don't know if I've ever actually seen a clay deposit. That's a gold. That's the aluminum. This is uranium, I'm pretty sure. This is... That, so I don't know if I've actually ever seen a clay deposit before. Yeah, I'm interested in how that's going to work, or if it will work. So one of the things that we know about in the future here, which we were going to check, was this here. Uh, converts clay into a solid brick to unlock additional uh, construction options require a steady steam of water to operate. Is it just water, and that's what it is? There's like actually no clay involved, maybe? Uh, let's build just one for now. I wonder who builds this anyways. Oh, there they come. It's like, hmm, maybe they're not coming today. And there's aluminum uh, road now, but that's uh, 30 aluminum. I don't think it's worth it. We do have 64k, but apparently aluminum semi more important later on, so... Uh, a clay bar. We're designed digging and harvesting clay. One, two, three, four, five. I wonder if we can get clay on this map. There's legitimately a bot that's meant for getting clay, so it's like, uh, we must be wrong? <laughs> okay, let's get some more housing in here. So this is, you know, our housing complex that we made before. Got some more stores in here. I don't know what we had here last time. I think I added more greenhouses. The solar panels here I think are all new. And of course the, uh, the the mints. So let's go ahead and do a bit more housing here. I don't know where I want to put the housing to be honest yet. I'm thinking maybe in this area here. Let's go from let's do this pavement, not that one, the hardened one. Let's go from here to here to there. And let's do uh, I like the blue ones. Might as well keep going with the blue till you get you know some other ones. Oh, what the heck is all this crap? Cactus and stuff. I guess when I built that uh, dude, he uh, unlocked all that. There you go. Ah, we'll go f full out here. There you go. Okay, so let's figure out... Uh, oh yeah, that was something I think was kind of running low-ish is the rum. So I'm thinking of making more distilleries. Yeah, why not? We can get a couple going. We'll put one here. Oh, let's put two of them here. And then... Uh, oh, there's a clay mine! There you go, guys. That's where it comes from. So I'm assuming... 
If we can get you guys going, there's no... Yeah, of course. Now we know how it works. So you actually have a clay mine that you make over time, not a... Oh! Because that was selected. I was like, why didn't that show up right away anyways? But whatever. Uh, let's do this one then. So, uh... I don't know how I want to do this yet, to be honest. Let's go from here to just here for now. There you go. Are they all building it or just some of them? Uh-oh. This guy's gonna be doomed no matter what, but whatever. They're, they take a while to make the clay mine, by the way. Uh, what is the requirements for the clay mine, cost-wise? Requires 5k water, 2,000 of that, and... Oh, okay, so not so bad. And it gives you 1,500 clay. Not a lot of clay. How many clay bots? Just the one? Like, I might as well go ahead and make another one. There you go. Yeah, one of these will be probably more than enough, to be honest. How slow they are, but whatever, we'll leave them there. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and make the hardened pavement here. And we'll go here. This will be our, like, our little dedicated clay setup for now on. There you go. Okay, so there you go. Now we know how to make uh, a new resource, which is Le Clay. And uh, Clay should be up here somewhere soon. Oh, there you go. You can hold very little of it, though. So we might want to consider doing something about that. Now, how does this work? What are you producing? Oh, you're producing bricks. Where is the bricks here? Ah, okay. So who... How does this get defined, I wonder, when you do the clay? Um... Oh, textile mill, brick walls. Oh, look at all that cool stuff. Awesome. I wish you could just type here and search easily. Oh, wow, that's a cool one. Oh, it shows a lot of information there. I like that, actually. Although you hover over it, it shows the information anyway, so never mind. Just to me, it looks kind of cool. Uh, brick factory, here it is. Uh, 18 workers, blah, 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 blah. It's not so bad. How much water are you consuming yeah. running? You're running at full right now. Oh, wow. You take 18 workers? Yikes. Uh, oh, n like nothing in water. I say nothing in water. Is that the water draining like nonstop right now? Oh, because you guys are draining the water to build these. That's why. The clay. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's taking a lot of water. Okay, 5k water each one. Okay, that's why. I got a little worried there. I'm like, eh, I don't know if I like this. Okay, let's make more then. Let's do another brick factory. We'll do... One here. Clicking has been a bit annoying today there. And then we'll do one here. Actually, not one right here, but one right there. Confirm. They don't really hold more bricks, do they? Hmm. Brick road. <laughs> That's cool. Uh, textile mill converts raw wood into durable cloth, a fine item that columns will... Ooh. Interesting. You need brick for that. Hipster bar. That's just embarrassing. In so many levels. <laughs> I'm just wondering if there's a way to store, but I don't see a way unless if this is the storage for it or like it uses that as storage. I, I could make more of these anyways. They're decent storage 
right? So let's see here if it goes up over time. 13. Oh, yeah, it went up a bit. Okay, so that's good. What about uh, the brick itself? Oh, God, I can't find it. By the time we get there, it will be too late. Actually, I don't even think it's on that list. I wonder if they're processing the brick that fast right now. Yeah, I can't complain about that. Oh, yeah, no one's really mining it, right? It's just the one guy. Oh, look, at, he's putting it in right away. I don't... Oh, there's a the clay right there. Sorry. I don't know how to store clay. That's an, might be an issue. Well, maybe not. Maybe clay is just not meant to be stored, right? Okay, well, we'll let that go, and the uh, these guys are almost done. You might as well just go like this and just set one of these guys out. Just say, hey, we need a clay bot here, a couple of them here, and just send them on their way. Where's the one behind here? Uh, there should be another one, unless those were two bots right there. Ah, here it is. Oh my god, they've already eaten all that? Oh wow. I think you're going to need more guys building it than you do the other stuff, but okay. It's just to get them started. I mean, I don't, I'm don't. i not going to go crazy with it, but you do need it as a requirement, right? So uh, wh what's the ratio, by the way? 16.13 to 4. So it doesn't even look like it's, you know, you you need like a one-to-one -one or anything like that. So that's kind of a good thing. You need a lot for that. You need a lot for that. Yeah. I say for now, we just leave it going and uh, we'll continue with uh, other things. So I thought I saw something nuclear-wise before. Ah, nuclear reactor. Here it is. Converts refined raw uranium to your colony. Oh, okay. So it's just literally a nuclear reactor. And you go crazy and your citizens hate you forever. And, uh, you know, a meltdown happens and bad things happen. And you know how it works. Let's go and make it. <laughs> what does it require, by the way? I should have looked at the costs. Not bad, actually. Wow, that's cool. So that's our first reactor, and uh, let's go from here to here, and then here to here. Get those built. Awesome. There you go. Oh, wow. It's almost fully employed, too. Awesome. Does it have... Oh, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Make sure. Oh, they got the little uranium symbol on them. I like that. Takes a little longer to make these guys. How much are these anyways? Not too bad. Might as well wait till they all get out there. So one of these solar panels produce 45 power, but this thing produces 400 or something power. 4,000 power, sorry. Way bigger difference there. It's almost half of my power in a sense, or, yeah, you know, one-third, I guess-ish. It's a huge deal there. Okay, and then we'll go with you guys, and we'll get you guys on. 
and going and that should start producing what we need now we're gonna need to make some silos of course here I'm kind of interested to see where I'll go oh crap there goes my power did it go up or I wonder if it'll only consume it when it's required now I think about it. If that's the case, that's even cooler. And that would... Oh no, there it goes. It jumped up. <laughs> Probably needed a boot up. Ah, oh, that would have been kind of cooler. Like, I guess you can turn it on and off and use it when you're ready, personally, right? But meh, whatever. Uh, so here's your uranium silo, by the way. And uh, so you can go ahead and do that wherever you want. Let's... Uh I mean, there, it's going to go wherever, right? So this is a pretty silo-y area anyway. So what are these silos cost? Oh, not that crazy. So let's go like this and confirm. Oh, you got sand. I didn't realize. Yellow brick road. Hardened pavement. There you go. Confirm. And that will let us store a whole crap ton of uranium now. So we can do 54k of uranium, which will give us a good buffer. Don't really have to worry about it. You want a decent buffer because even if you keep it low numbers and you got these guys, I mean, even they can feed this. I mean, you might need it for something else later on, or you need a, you know, to consume just a wee bit of it, or who knows. So it's kind of nice to have that kind of flexibility. Uh, having like five nuclear reactors later on, and then turning it on and off on demand too like ooh I just built something big and you know I need to you know put the new reactor on without having to worry about too much there's a lot of things you can do that make life a little easier I guess in that sense okay so we got the uranium I'm just going through everything we have in here see if there's anything we have never built and made yet oh yeah we got the oil plant which we ended up finding out that was just for power anyways but uh hey it's 700 power still a lot of power but it wasn't as exciting i thought it was like oh look at this new thing we made and it was just like what it wasn't as exciting in the end you know what i mean I think my rum is starting to go up. Pottery works. What is a pottery works? That sounds kind of cute. Might as well build it. It's already got workers. Pottery is literally its production, my friends. I assume there's more to it later on. <laughs> uh, oh, I didn't realize there was an advanced hydroponics uh, center. I don't think I've made the advanced one. No, I kept making this one. That is cool. A new hydroponics. Let's put, well, let's, wait, what does it require here? Requires a bunch of workers, that's fine. Oh, it doesn't require much. Let's be crazy and strip it down here. There we go. And let's put the hardened pavement here to here to here. And we're gonna put it here, here, and then we're gonna go ahead and bulldoze this, this, and this. There you go. So this will produce, of course, way more food than we need right now. But uh, I've never built the advanced hydroponic one, so it's just like, I better make it just in case. Sometimes, like, I'm not saying it's for this one, but some games you have to kind of make something because it might unlock something else later on. I've now never made this, and I don't think it's needed. A more efficient, high-powered atmosphere generator. I don't think there's any need for one of these to be made ever by us, but screw it. Let's, let's try it. What's the... Requires four workers, blah, blah, blah. Let's do it. Screw it. Seems like it's like one of those fun things, you know? Let's let's give it a try. I have no clue what will happen in the long run. If it means anything. Our atmosphere is always fine, as far as I know. Uh, it's around here somewhere on this damn thing, too. It's always in the five millions. That's all I know. Oh, there you go. A little higher than normal, actually.
Oh yeah, there you go. Yeah, I can't see this being a good thing, having a bunch of these running in the long run, but eh, whatever. Okay. A single family house. Oh, made out of the brick? Oh no, the pottery. That's kind of adorable, I guess. It's just a regular single house thing. Just uses the pottery and it's just, just for nostalgia. It's It doesn't mean anything really, right? A brick house. You can have the local hipster bar nearby. Ooh, we don't quite have enough for it. It'll get there, but uh, it's a little off right now. Actually, you guys stop working or? Oh, it's these guys. You guys are just. Oh, never mind. Apparently, these guys are running as fast as they can right now, and <laughs> that's kind of the issue here. Interesting. You can always make more brick factories. There's no uh, shame in that, I guess. There you go. I'm thinking like, hmm, I made two brick factories, but now I'm thinking like, you know what? Let's just make another one. Ooh, there's a gift shop. Yeah, I need to get a b bunch of potteries for that though. A blue house. Green house. So at this point, it's just like random house colors and stuff. That's cute though. Let's make uh, another two of these. I decided I want another two. And then the hardened pavement. Let's bring it out to here, to here, to here. There we go. The clay mine here, 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 and here. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem like some of these play fair, so you might have to make some more of these vehicles just because um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I don't need that many mining per se, but it looks like I might in the end need to have a bit more um, just for the, you know, like to make them a little faster. They get pretty slow at times, so. We'll have to wait for the gift shop another day. Look at the pottery right now. Why is my rum running low? I must have screwed up with whatever I did. I must have not made a distillery or something else causing this, I wonder. Firm. Yeah, we're probably having shorts of jobs right now, yeah. So right now we just have to wait for the population, of course, to grow a bit more, etc. You got some tourists in. Uh, before we end this, let's check some statistics because they did tell you what the tourists would bring in over time, right? Which this kind of cute. So, uh, tourist. Maybe that's just economy here. Total tourist. Oh, so tourists have brought me 11k. This 11k, I guess. Wow, that's kind of cool to think about it. Because they could fill up those casinos really well over time. Damn, there's quite a bit here. Oh, actually, I was looking at that was the staff. No. There we go. Oh, there's a bit of damage here. I wonder, wow. I wonder what causes the requirement of repairing it. How 
how is our building here? Nothing has changed here yet because we haven't really upgraded anything yet. I don't think this can be upgraded quite yet, can it? No. Just got the statistics. Awesome. I don't want you guys sitting here when I decide to build. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so I think that'll be good for this episode. I think we did pretty good. Uh, we have another, you know, couple hundred, almost uh, 300 guys that we're going to get. So we're going to have to get some more jobs and things like that, which I'll do. Uh, and then we'll go from there. So uh, thank you guys and girls so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, all that fun stuff. And we will see you wonderful people next time. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.